do you decide on things in your band? Are you a democratic band or do you quarrel a lot? It's, dem it's a democracy. Those, it's those, pe simple. those people that quarrel with us are alleviated. <laughs> Once in a while we may have to, we, once in a while we may actually come to vote on something maybe, but that's very rare. Coming to the voters now. Yeah. Do you have any idea how many copies of your albums all together have sold? Mark, Mark Hartley told me about have 12, you ever counted? 12 million. Oh. Does that change Roughly. your your perspective of record I'm trying business? I'm to figure out where all the money is because we <laughs> still don't have it. <laughs> what do you do when you don't tour or don't? do a record. Do you Raise have anything family. else? Yeah, we both have two kids. Mm -hmm. Not me and him, but <laughs> <laughs> our, we are married and have two children. Yeah. So I, I miss him very much. He got lucky, one of his, his oldest boy got to come out and see him, so okay. I'm looking forward to going home and seeing why. You've been criticized for playing too well. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. Don't how, really how could that be? How could that make sense? How does it feel? See, with those people are laughing. Yeah. <laughs> how, do, how does it feel, that kind of criticism? I, it's a compliment. <laughs> Somebody says you play too good, that means you play very well. And if they, if they wish that we played worse, then uh, they should listen to people that play worse than we do. What do you think of punk, for example? Where don't. Hmm? I don't think of it. You don't think of it? I mean, you know, I understand the concept of what's supposed to be good about it. But it's really funny about all these punk bands now, like that started out in the uh -huh. late seventies, early eighties. Now are trying to make pop records, and, I heard and that's some of the slickest, most washed-out stuff I've ever heard. So I heard it was funny um, on MTV today. <clears throat> that, no, it wasn't MTV. It was uh, some video show from England that was on t the TV television this morning. Um, they had an interview with uh, Billy Idol. Uh huh. And what was the punk band he originally came from? Generation X or Generation, Generation X or whatever, or something like that. And he said he was always disappointed in the punk thing, how he always thought that all the press rave and even the punk bands themselves, the way they acted and what punk became, became he didn't like because they forgot about the music and it was more mm -hmm. slamming and uh, fashion and all that. And he said that's why he was always disappointed with his what happened to the originally when he was in the punk thing. He said they forgot music. Mm -hmm. That was his quote. I can dig that. <laughs> If you weren't musicians, what would you be, or who would you like to be? Is there any choice? I don't know. That's a very hard, serious question to ask because I mean, you know we've all been doing this since we were so young that I don't remember doing not doing it. You know, I imagine we'd find something to do. Probably raise. We probably still have families in some corner. We mm -hmm. probably live a little differently, but uh, it's hard to say. Did you two already meet at school, or? Yeah. Yeah. Do you find that that an advantage or a disadvantage to know each other so well from the beginning? I think it's an advantage. The nucleus of this band um, knew each other since they were children. Children don't lie to each other when they're young, so mm -hmm. as you grow older, I think it's a good advantage to have uh, if you know each other from, uh, how do I say, it's very honestly and openly. Yeah. It's not like some... Uh, 20 year olds got together and you don't really know the person and some people put on facades as they go through their different changes in life. Basically, Even, no, go ahead. no, but that's basically, you know. Mm. Can't bullshit a bullshitter. Right. <laughs> you probably can't use that, but that's really where it's at. <laughs> We're just trying to um, make the best music we can as honestly as we can, even though people don't, some people I think, don't think that we're honest. We are very honest and very into what we do. I think we've accomplished a lot as a band. Yeah. I mean, if, the, if everything ended right now, I wouldn't look back and say, oh, gee, I wish this. I mean, we've been yeah. real lucky, and as musicians, whether uh, singularly, you know, individually, or as a group, we've all accomplished a lot, you know. It's been a great 10 years. We've learned, we've grown up a lot in 10 years, I think, is what it is. What is the most important thing in your lives? Is it music or maybe something else? Uh, well, my family is probably my most important, absolutely important thing. Yeah. That I would d drop everything for if they needed me. That's the most. Important I mean, they need me, but you know. But music is my life. I mean, I was. I feel. I mean, as corny as it sounds, that I was probably meant, born into this world to do this because I can't do anything. I can't unzip my pants with my left hand. You know, but I mean, I can play it's guitar. True. So I mean, I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> 